have one tent. Is that your tent? Yeah. What are those? They're pictures of Baby Blake. They're pictures of Baby Blake? Yeah. Welcome to our furnished house. Finally. Welcome to our furnished house. Finally. Hi, Sodi family. Guys, today we are doing the video that many of you guys have been asking for and waiting for. So I have been working super duper hard to get everything ready and it is almost ready. I just have a few small things to do. guys so I may not have mentioned this before but I actually have a degree in interior design and I absolutely love designing and decorating houses and anything I can get my hands on but I was really nervous to decorate my house because I had so many ideas I just didn't know what exactly to do. And let's face it guys, it took me a long time to finally finish decorating this house, almost a year to be exact. So to commemorate being in our amazing house for one year, I am going to be giving you guys a fully furnished house tour. Welcome to our furnished house, finally. Welcome to our furnished house, finally. Welcome to our furnished house, finally. that's just off to the side of our entry and for the past year practically it has been vacant but yesterday we filled it with something pretty amazing welcome to the piano room all right guys so we literally had this piano delivered to our home yesterday yes. and it's awesome and the rest of the pieces, the artwork, the chair, the music, sculpture, I got at the at home store. This right here, we got at RC Willy, and obviously, we took this picture when we went to Hawaii, and it's one of my favorite pictures of all time, and it's hanging up in our piano room. of things I need to work and practice more and Peyton wants to take piano lessons so she's super excited since we moved in. We got this from Pottery Barn. I got all of the decorations that you see here from Target. So I found some things, threw them on there, went with the brass gold theme decorations. My favorite thing right here is this little pocket. Um, that's where we put all of our receipts um, so that we can record them and do all of that in those books. And where is this, Taylor? 
New York? New York! This is a picture that Steve and I took um, when we were um, in New York and we got it blown up and put in the office. Ah! Can you see the Statue of Liberty in there? Um, what would it be? <laughs> it will be that tiny little line. Right there is the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Alright guys, now we are on to the living room. One of the hardest places for me to decorate because I did not know what to do with my mantle, but just today I got this mirror here at Target and it completes the look completely. All right guys, real quickly, I got this at Pottery Barn, these at RC Willy, this at the at-home store, had to put this in here individually, got this at Pottery Barn, and everything else was pretty much Target. And it looks amazing! I have my gathered sign that I got at Costco and I have loved it so much. We just got this at the at-home store and there's nothing inside. But I plan on putting Christmas dishes and other themed dishes in there for the dining table. Which is right here. We use the table a whole lot so I didn't want to put too many decorations on there because kids are dirty. I wanted to keep my shelves simple so I just chose some white pieces that I can use for decoration and also use while I'm cooking so it's multifunctional. And of course, you cannot forget our pantry. You know where I hide from the kids and eat food? They're pictures of baby Blake? Yeah. This is my bed. Let's see how tall you are. And my ruler. Is that your ruler? Yeah. It's my toys. Are those your toys? No. No, it's on here. Oh my gosh, she did a better tour than I could ever do. Thank you, Blake, so much. All right guys, so the rug I got at the at-home store, this ruler I got at Hobby Lobby and I am in love with it. We have these pretty flowers I got at Hobby Lobby um, and these pictures I took when she was blessed. That's her baby blessing pictures. Um, and this right here I got at Hobby Lobby. I do not remember where I got this tent. I ordered it so long ago, I believe it was online. Um, and then here is her bed that she got at RC Willy. And guys, there's a funny story about this stuffed animal. I have had this stuffed animal since I was like 13 years old. And I took pictures of Uncle Derek when he was a baby laying on this stuffed animal. Um, and so it's been in the family a really long time. And these letters right here I ordered online and I love them. All right guys, we are making our way past the laundry room and the mudroom up to where, Jordy? The bonus room. The bonus room, which so happens to be one of Jordan's favorite rooms. Ordered this sign online and love it to death. It kind of represents our family perfectly. Welcome. All right. 
right guys, welcome to the bonus room or the homeschool room as we like to call it. It is where the kids sit and do their work. They're on school, they're in private school, and so they get to go and have a quiet place to do their work. I set up all of this stuff here, so hopefully they keep it clean. Yeah. We have markers and colored pencils, pens, crayons, everything you could need. We have our own budgets to put our school stuff, and this one's mine. That way they can keep all of their stuff organized and in one place. One of my favorite places is the window seat. And we have lots and lots of books. And my favorite books are Diary of Moon Kid books. So Jordan's been reading those. And we have even more books over here. I actually have some hanging chairs that are coming, um, that are gonna be hanging from the ceiling so that the girls can sit in them. <gasps> she does not know about it. <laughs> so that is a surprise. You are gonna get a hanging chair to oh, sit in. Like one of those things that I can use. Yeah, so that you can relax and read cool. in them. Awesome! And guys, this is the closet. That took me way too long to organize. I'm not even gonna tell you how long. And the closet that the kids are not necessarily allowed in. Um, but we have papers here, supplies, um, craft stuff beads, all that kind of stuff, so that when they want to do something, I can come and get it out for them, and hopefully it stays organized throughout the school year. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, I wanted to save my favorite bedroom for last. Is it your favorite room in the house? Yeah. <laughs> it is the master bedroom. <laughs> guys, we have never really had a decorated master bedroom Never. ever in our marriage. So this is like a first for us and we are super excited to show you guys. guys so our bed set we got from pottery barn and i love it we got our dining room table our office furniture and this office. set from pottery barn love it the actual bedding we got from target i found it decorated it steve let me do whatever i wanted in what was the name of that the it's bedroom like the magnolia magnolia section my favorite um we got our lights from rc willie on either side, um, we got this from RC Willie too. It was in the old It's the section. grandma couch, guys. So now we can go into our bedroom and Steve can sit on the grandma couch. Is it comfy? <laughs> we have this right here that we got I from picked it out. I picked it out. at home store. And then right over here, we have our RC Willie piece again. Um, and everything else. We brought this with us. We brought that with us. That's come, that's come with us for quite some time. Yeah, three houses now. And the bathroom we kept simple, didn't do a whole lot of decorating, and we don't want to see that going on. And last but not least, my babe cave here where I do my makeup. Um, and that's pretty much it for the master suite, our favorite room in the house. Kind of. You do remember we have a theater room, right? All right, guys, that is it for our upstairs fully furnished house tour. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now it's time for the downstairs. Wait till you guys see this. Today we are doing the video that many of you guys have been asking for and waiting for. Welcome to our furnished house, finally. Um, and that's pretty much it for the master suite, our favorite room in the house. Kind of. You do remember we have a theater room, right? All right, guys, that is it for our upstairs fully furnished house tour. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now it's time for the downstairs. Wait till you guys see this. Hi, Sodi family. All right, guys, this is part two of our fully furnished house tour. Um, if you want to see the main floor and the upstairs decorated, make sure you check out yesterday's video after you watch 
this one. Personally, I think the upstairs is pretty boring, but the downstairs is awesome. I think my room is the best room in the entire house because I've got so many things to do. Like, first off, the arcade, the NBA Jam. And some of you may have already seen a little bit of Steven's room because his sisters actually helped decorate it. They did a pretty good job. I know, they did surprisingly good. I've got my hat rack where I have my wide variety of hats. So uh, who did your nice little wall there? Steven has his little pet. My little pet. Is that R2? D2? No. <laughs> Who is that? BB-8. As you can tell, I am also a Star Wars fan. I know, she loves Star Wars. So much. Zoom. 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 Ah! Steven did build this all on his own, and I am surprised that it is still in one piece because his sisters have come in here multiple times trying to play with it. I have also had it put it back together a couple times. Okay, so they did destroy it. And I have my wall of stuff. Stuff. Darth Vader. I am your father. I'm tired. Actually, I'm his mother. Oh. <laughs> wow, mom. All right, so we got his end table and his desk at Target, and I love it. Um, and we picked up this little, um, actually big clock. It takes up the majority of that wall. Yeah. And it's so cool. We got that at RC Willy. Um, and this little NBA jam thing here, Steve got from Walmart. Star Wars, we need something pink and girly. Welcome to the room that we like to call the American Girl Doll Room. And we like to call it that because there is American Girl Doll stuff everywhere. So this is pretty much the girls' playroom, but there is stuff for everybody. We have drawers and drawers of Legos. And a cute table for Blakey to build her Legos on. Where's the body? Where's his body? Oh no! Hmm, where did you find a body in here? So I may need to organize those a little bit better. This is actually a cabinet that was Steve's grandma's cabinet. Um, and it's been in the family for a long time. When I got it, it was yellow and I painted it this nice cream color along with um, this piece that went with it. And it's always good to be reminded who is allowed in this room. Only kids. Only kids? Yeah. All right, so I got these at the at-home store and they are so perfect for keeping um, little toys and dolls that the girls collect and love to play with. All right guys, I need to interrupt the basement house tour because I forgot to decorate one thing.
That's more like it. And now I can show you guys the family room. He likes to call it the comfy room. It is the comfy room. So the reason we call it the comfy room is because we decided to get an oversized sofa in here to fit our entire family. It is super deep and long, so it's almost like a bed. It's super comfortable too. Look at that guys, and we got this from Down East. And I would say that by far, it is the most comfortable couch I have ever owned. I got this nifty light at RC Willy, and I ordered this Let's Stay Home sign from the same place that I got Blake's wooden name that's in her bedroom, and that was, I believe, on Etsy. This vase that I had to hurry and finish up decorating, I got at the at-home store, and um, a little tip, if these are not long enough that fit in your vase, just stick a toilet paper roll in there. That's what I did. And finally, my amazing rug. Steve and I had just ran to Target, found this on sale, snatched it up because I love it. All right guys, so on the other end of the basement, Steve's way down there, hi. We'll talk about this area in a minute. On the clear other end, I have my ginormous bookshelf. And as you can see, I still have a little bit more decorating to do. But this area, I was the most nervous to decorate because there's so much stuff to try to fill. But I feel like I did at least a pretty good job with it. Mom? What? Stop talking about the bookshelf. Come see the secret room. So this bookshelf is also a secret bookshelf with a code that leads into here. The second, no third best room in this house. We've got the claw machine which we stick all of the toys that I don't want the kids to be able to get into. But if they want them, they have to insert some cash and try to play for them. An entire dollar? Our little basketball hoops here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're getting beat, let's do this, let's do this, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, enough of that, enough of that. We have our arcade machines. Well, Steven, which one is your favorite? Either Galaga or Rampage. I personally like Pac-Man. Alright, so technically this is kind of like the man cave where all of the guys like to play. Um, but the girls like to come in here too. They store their stuffed animals there. You missed the decoration. So my favorite part is the foosball table. Get some soccer playing in. It's hard to play with one person though. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Um, I think we lost Steven to the He arcades. was making a video with us a second ago. Did you show off our Sody sign? I did. It's awesome. It's because he hung it up, so uh, he wants me to show it. Did you show off our new plaque? Oh, guys, guys, guess what? So we just got this in the mail. What channel is this for? It's still taped. We haven't even opened it. Steven Yeager Gaming! Guys, I cannot believe that we got this and we didn't open it yet. We are just so busy decorating this house and doing videos that we haven't opened it. We're gonna do it live right now with you guys watching. All right, this is the moment we've Let's been waiting see it. for. What? Ready? Oh, <gasps> oh my goodness. Sodium Blood, go subscribe.
All right, guys, that's our Sodi unplugged play button. If you didn't know that we had another channel that Steve and I mostly run, it is the Sodi Unplugged channel. Go check it out if you think Steve and I are kind of funny. Check it out anyways. Or if you think Steve's kind of funny looking. <laughs> and there's just a few other play buttons here too. Don't forget the nerf. Well, I missed. In the face! All right, I'll take it from here. Guys, we have a special chest with all of our Nerf guns. So we haven't really added any decorations to this area except for on the exterior here. But we can't skip this part, it's my favorite. Alexa, turn on the Xbox. Alexa, turn off the lights. All right guys, so one thing that I have forgot to mention is we have these nifty little blinds everywhere in our house. And they're pretty amazing because they go up and down. <laughs> and we have those blinds upstairs and downstairs. Another area that I like about our basement is our gaming area. We got this table from RC Willy and this giant chess set from RC Willy. We got these puff balls from the at home store and our tic tac toe board from RC Willy. Steven has yet to win a tic tac toe game. What do you mean? I destroyed him last time we played in. No. In no. Three moves. Not true. I've already won. All right, so we got some cute little pieces here in Parker's little playroom. We have drawers to put our toys in. And special artwork on the walls so that they can play with them. We have Blake's little baby um, set up over here and Parker's Welly Wishers over there and the two youngest are pretty much the ones that spend most of their time down here. So this is where we keep all of their special toys to play with. And then that brings us to my room. So I have my desk here where I'm gonna do my online school at. She has this beautiful glittery piece of art that matches her room perfectly. I have this picture hanger. A picture hanger where you hang pictures. Rose gold and gray are my colors. I have my cute little alarm clock. She has her lamp. And a her fake. little fake plant right there. I killed my last one. Which is why we went with the fake one. And I have my cute little mirror here. Rose gold. Welcome to my Jordan's and Parker's room. My favorite part is this pretty white mirror. And the girls spend way too much time in front of that thing. Hey! This is my bed with all the cute pillows. We got her a sparkle pillow, this pretty white one, and then this cool one that you can write place. all over. And Jordan has similar ones. She sleeps up there and Parker sleeps right there. And this is our amazing bookshelf. 
So we have pictures on here from when the girls were baptized and when they were babies. Um, I got all the other decorations that you see here at the at-home store. Um, and then these baskets I got at Target. I think ours is best. guys well hopefully you enjoyed our fully furnished house tour it was a long time coming and we were super excited to share it with you and if you guys didn't notice throughout both parts of our house tour we took pictures of each room fully decorated but we had a Sodi family member hiding in each one of those pictures so go back and watch both parts to see who hid the most in the pictures and if you can find each hidden Sodi family member and now that it is done, we have a super awesome series that we cannot wait to start. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so that you can get notifications of when we post awesome videos like this one. Download our Sodi app and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh wait, you guys are still here? You guys get to see this one secret little area in your entire house that nobody else knows about. This. It's where we film our gaming videos. We may or may not have a gaming channel coming soon, but I do have my gaming channel out right now. It's called Steven Yeager Gaming. Go check it out. Do you know what the best part is? In here. It's a playhouse! We are staying the next two nights in this awesome mansion! Are you guys ready for the best house tour ever? Let's see if this mansion can handle the Jaegers. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah! The God shall talk to us. The spirit. <laughs> Is this where we stand in a circle? <laughs> Will the spirits talk to us? Here's a fancy front room with the a balcony. <laughs> oh, that skinny honey's gonna fall. Look at that view, guys. Yeah, I'm scared. Let me stand like this <laughs> far away. Steven's going over. We have a bunch of kids that are scared of heights. Peekaboo. We've only made it to the very front of the house and the kids are going crazy. Let's explore! Come on! In here! This is the girls' room! There are four bunk beds in this room and we have four girls that can sleep in here. You don't count. Sorry. You're sleeping alone. <laughs> yep, bye. This place is getting even cooler. This living room is huge! There's actually enough seats in here to fit our entire family plus some. That's the biggest kitchen island I have ever seen in my life. Uh, uh. Looks like everyone found their favorite spots. Relaxing. Totally. Master bedroom time. Whoa. It's a bed full of princess. <laughs> that was frightening. Oh my goodness. That was supposed to be a princess sound. Now this is what's really impressive. Look at this 
Oh. Yes, the swimming pool. We found Parker's swimming pool. Now that's what I call a shower. Let's see how impressive the upstairs is. We lost Parker somewhere in the basement. Hopefully she doesn't get lost. You may never find her, it's a huge house. This is my room. I guess Steven took claim of this. You have your own bathroom? No, <gasps> this is not a thing. Holy moly. I get two bathrooms, that's fine with me. These rooms just keep coming and coming, it's crazy. There's another bunk bed that sleeps four people. Say what? I think Taylor found her room. This is actually the princess's tower. Look at those windows. She's Rapunzel trapped in the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, lay down your hair. I just found something awesome. It's a game room upstairs. Look at this football table. Are you up? Get set. Angry. Ayo hockey, anybody? Challenge accepted. That was my mic. I find this a good question. Me too. It's basement time. Woo yeah. Maybe we'll find Parker down there. Brava, brava. Good job, guys. We found Parker! And the movie theater, or maybe the stage, depending on who you ask. Uh, duh, movie theater. Stage. Theater. Stage. Stage. This basement just keeps on going. When is this house going to end? There is another room with four bunk beds. And a huge, awesome closet! But do you know what the best part is? In here. It's a playhouse! This place has two kitchens? What? 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 How many beds does this place have? And this room has an excellent view. I think I found my bedroom. Now it's time to party.
All right, it's time for the girls' play, and I'm super excited. I'm the light person. It becomes morning, it becomes night again. Show house tour, but before we get started, subscribe to our channel, give us a big thumbs up. All right, guys, you've been asking and asking for a house tour for our new house, so we're giving it to you. This is our front porch and the front door. Should we go inside? My mom and dad got married. They don't look like that anymore. And this is an awesome message board that my mom made. You could write words like X. That's X. We like writing secret messages to each other. It says welcome. This is also our piano room. I need to practice more. Come follow us into our main family room. This is where we hang out as our family and watch TV. Actually, the TV's right there. Here are some really old pictures of us. We're gonna get some new pictures really soon. That's me. That's me. And that's Peyton. And this is Taylor. This is the Jaeger family yearbooks. This one. <laughs> this one is me. That's mine. And I was born in 2008. And Steve, this one is Peyton. Each year my mom makes these cool family yearbooks. And now we have this awesome fireplace. And our favorite part is our kitchen. And because I love baking. My mom likes to always have our tables set. These are mainly for decoration though. I don't think we've ever eaten off of these. Okay. My favorite part is the pantry, where all the food is. Oh. I 
I'm planning on doing some cool videos that I bake in this kitchen. As soon as my mom will let me. This is our mud room. Mud, mud, mud room. This is a cook backpack. Uh, whack when, we, when we're done, uh, school we hang them up. We can put our shoes in here if we like. Like we're sitting down, we just take off our shoes, sit them there, or blah, blah, blah. And this is our calendar. It's today the 17th. Happy September. We have a half bath right here. That means it has a, a top toilet and a sink. And right here, the laundry room. Dun, dun, dun. Um, we have a lot of clothes that we need to put away. This is our back porch. With the trampoline. Uh, that's in the backyard, not the back porch. My favorite part about the backyard is this cool swing. Now for mom and dad's room. Ah, we're here. That mom. thing always works. And here's a shelf. There's all sorts of stuff on it. And this, it's a weird lid. You just open it. Are we on here? Open it so. Can you, can you put things in it? <laughs> now for mom and dad's room. Whoa. Whoa. Yay! Oh, mom's gonna be mad. Here's the baby's bassinet. Don't know if you can hear it, but there's music playing. This is some old furniture. My mom painted it to make it awesome. And they have the best bathroom in the house. Just look at this bathtub. And the bath bomb. Oh, I just turn on the water. <laughs> they have a walk-in shower. Try and get better singing. Oh, double, double, double sing, sing. Whoa, there's two of me. And they have a walk in closet. It's so big. Look how many clothes they have. These are my mom's hair extensions. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh. Let's go give some kids some toys. And that's the main level of our house. House. Now it's time for upstairs. This is our big clock. When they are going to have no high tail time. But I do know how to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. These are our treasure boxes. We have done some videos of those. We bought gold coins. Now it's time for our other fireplace. It's not a real fireplace, but it looks like one. I'm so sure I can stand up in here.
Huh? This is our silver play button and we got it when we reached 100,000 subscribers. This is Pokers on the Baby's Wings. If you want to see inside, check out the new tree video what we did. This is the kids' bathroom. And this is where we keep our bows. And tons of bows. And wash them. And stuff. And another one. We're not going to show you yet though. We're going to do a special girls room tour soon. And this is my room. But I'm not going to show you guys yet because I'm going to do a special video on my room. This is There's a bunch of activities and toys we can do on these. Like board games, uh, laser guns, just dirt boards, there's all sorts of things. There's even toys in here. What's this? This is also where we play our video games. All right, and now it's time for the basement. So, our basement is not finished, but we do use it for a lot of storage and the kids come down here a lot and hang out. So, here it is. We put a play yard down here that used to be in our old backyard and Parker loves coming down here and playing on that especially. And we have another TV and tons of seating. Sometimes we'll have games going on down here, games upstairs, and the TV on in the main room. So we have lots of options for entertainment. Back here, we are going to be putting some exercise things once we get um, an exercising bike and a treadmill because we need to start exercising and getting healthy. And around the corner, we have our YouTube room where we store all of our YouTube stuff and things that have been given to us, um, stuff that we are going to be doing videos for and just fan mail and lots of cool things. So anything YouTube we have stored in here and we have our green screen and lighting over there. And that is our basement. Hi, Josephina. Hi, Lana. Hi, John. Hi, Karma. Hi, Apple. Hi, Ross. Hi, Jasmine. Hi Leslie, our question for the day is, what was your favorite part of the house tour? Subscribe to our channel, comment below, and the big thumbs up. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye! These are some pictures of when me and my mom got married. <laughs> We're finally gonna do a house tour. Are you ready for this? This is not like any house tour. This is a Christmas edition. <coughs> but before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Right there, I think it's up there or there. Okay. Right there. That's a white right right there. there. Right here. And give us a thumbs up. So let's get started. <laughs> this is our house tour Christmas edition. And the first room we're going to be in 
is the living room. Dun, dun, dun! This is the special Christmas tree. It's mom's Christmas tree because only she gets to decorate it. Every year we write letters to Santa and we stick them in these ornaments. For example, this one from Taylor when she was four years old. Dear Santa, I want Indiana Jones Legos, a computer like my mom's, and a Batgirl cape for me to wear. Love, Taylor Yeager, four years old, 2012. I want to find one of mine. Uh, no, dang it, I want to first guess. This one's mine when I was seven years old. It says, I want Minecraft and a new pair of snow boots. I want a big toy truck and name, name, something, Indiana Jones and Legos. Love me. Age seven. Every year we add new ornaments, like these letters, and sometimes even these. Some of these are even older than I am. That's ten years. And we have some snowflakes. Can you believe that we made these with popsicle sticks? We have a ton of these yarn snowballs, and we love having snowball fights. dish we always use every year when Santa comes. Delicious. I don't think Santa will mind. These are the stockings my mom sewed. They go from oldest all the way to youngest. Dad, Mom, me, Bryce, Taylor, Peyton, Jordan, Parker. This is the ornament we got when my brother Bryce passed away and we hang it on the tree every year. It says, if tears could build a stairway and memories build a lane, I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again. We have these candles lit up all around the house. They look like real candles, don't they? But if you can tell, they're fake. We don't want wax dripping all over this. And all over everything. My mom won this in our family's Christmas bingo game that we do every year. Welcome to our Christmassy kitchen. This is our Christmas china. My great grandma gave it to us. It's special. We like to keep our tables at all Christmas season. These are fake candles. Don't forget Twizzle! What is he doing up there? He's our elf on the shelf. Every night he moves to a different place and surprises us. Sometimes he brings us treats. We love Twizzle. This is the place we always uh, keep our Christmas knickknacks. <laughs> knickknacks. <laughs> it's a long. This year, we have a special Christmas tree in our parents' room. It is called our Light the World Tree. Light the World is a program that our church is doing this December. To learn more about how you can participate, click the, the, the link in the description. Our Light the World Tree is all about the Savior. We have a nativity set on it and we plan to put a bunch of gifts for the Savior under the tree. These 
give to be acts of service, kindness, and just doing good for others. If you have any ideas of what gifts we could give to the Savior, comment below. I'm going to show you Christmas decoration on our porch. It's so pretty. We have a special bell on our door. A pretty Christmas wreath. We got some fake snowballs and lights of rock. Above our door. And Santa's hanging from our room! Yep, that's Santa all right. He's holding on with all his might. Hope, hopefully, you like to help our parts. Now it's time for downstairs. Look at our cool raining. We're going to decorate it all by ourselves. Look at the good job we did. I hung this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this. We collect ornaments every year. Some of them are, but we made at school. I did this one at school. I love our tree. And we had a pretty, and we have a pretty present where it has sparkles and a sleigh. What? Tis a game to us. And this is a basket of fun. Oh, I'm with you. This is our special nativity where our grandma gave us. She got it from Guala, Guatemala. This is baby Jesus in a manger. And, uh, and whenever we do something nice from someone else, we're going to get a piece of straw. This is a manger. Now it's time for Santa's gift. Hopefully you liked our house tour. Christmas edition. Hi Zoe, thanks for watching. Hi Sarah. Hi Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Elise. Alexander said that he thinks Twizzle is gonna silly string our house. That would be scary. Isabella said that she thinks that Twizzle is gonna be in our bedroom. Aaron thinks that his Twizzle is going to make life-size reindeers out of candy canes. That'd be amazingly delicious. <laughs> Our question for the day is, what Christmas decoration did you like the best? And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye.